freshly cut flowers. All of the above are things that people love to smell, that people love to breathe. But in my case, it's when the sun goes away and the clouds come out. That is my favourite. The smell when the rain starts to fall is something that I love. Hi, my name is Mitch and this is my vlog on the smell of rain. But how does that even work, some of you might be thinking. Well, the chemistry behind it comes from a chemical compound by the name of geosmin. This earthy substance gives that ground flavour to beetroot and some other vegetables. Geosmin is a secretion from actinomyces, which is a bacteria found dwelling in soil. When they die, geosmin is secreted. When it begins to rain, oils that have been produced by plants from dry weather are also disturbed and released into the air. The combination of these oils with geosmin creates petrichor, another factor to smelling the rain. Geosmin has amazing capabilities in that once it has been disturbed, humans are able to detect it in 5 parts per trillion. This is the equivalent of around 1 teaspoon of geosmin in 200 Olympic sized swimming pools. Although it is not the main factor to giving off the smell of rain, without the presence of this chemical compound, then there would be no sensation at all. The full name is 4S4AS 8AR 48A dimethyl 1234567 octahydron aphthalon 4-A-O-L, but then again, geosmin works just fine. Geosmin, when broken down, contains three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, giving us a molecular formula of C12H22O. When geosmin is put into a 3D model, this is how it is represented. In this picture, it shows the white Legos acting as bonds, the black Legos as carbon, the yellow as the hydrogen atoms, and finally, the blue acts as the one oxygen atom. Geosmin is a bicyclic alcohol, which means two cyclic carbon rings have been fused together. This bicyclic rings are most common in organic compounds, much like geosmin. From the two cyclic rings, a carbon-hydrogen molecule can be seen protruding down from the first bridgehead carbon and an oxygen-hydrogen molecule from the second bridgehead carbon. Also above the main structure, another carbon-hydrogen molecule can be seen the bridgehead carbons are the two carbons located in the middle of the structure, fusing the two rings together. Geosmin is considered to be a simple structure, and in terms of bonding, all of the bonds featured in this compound are singly bonded. Geosmin is special to me because smelling that scent throughout the storm brings back a lot of childhood memories, like playing in the rain as a kid. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about this fascinating substance as much as I did. Thanks for watching.